This is Hamish from the Maui Celtic Radio Show, and we're taking a look at the new Irish Rovers album, No End in Sight. I'm sitting here with George Miller, and last year there was a phenomenon in the UK, and, and worldwide actually, of uh, sea shanties exploded through the stratosphere, and uh, mainly by a version of the Wellerman, an old New Zealand sea shanty that was covered by Nathan Evans, the singing postman. That was great, yes. It was, um, you know what also was so good about it is the fact that this young fellow, Nathan Evans, he, he's now able to sing these type of songs for young people, which is great. That's how the music continues, when you get the young people interested in those type of songs. And he did a really great job on it. And it was a song that we originally recorded in 1977 for a New Zealand show that we were doing down there. And um, so... What we did with the song this time is we had that original old track with my brother Will on it, uh, Jimmy Ferguson, and uh, Bob O'Donovan, who was helping us out at the time. So we kept all of their three voices on the first three verses, and then we amalgamated the new band that we have now into that old track. So it's sort of unique. You can hear the old part, then you can hear the new part slowly coming in, and then we're all sort of singing it together. And... Um, just the way a sea shanty should be. It was great. It was, it was fun to be able to use an old track and add the new music to it. It's, uh, it's a really nice thing to do, and some of us are still alive to enjoy it, so it's, it's quite even nicer. <laughs> Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Someday when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. For 40 days or even more, the line was slacked and tight once more. All boats were lost, there were only four, but still the whale didn't go. Just in case folks don't know what the Wellerman is, it was actually an employee of the Weller brothers yes. who were supplying land-based whale stations, whaling stations, down in the South Island of New Zealand in a place called Otaku, which is in fact where the uh, region Otaku gets its name from. Mm. And uh, they were waiting for their sugar, tea and rum. Absolutely, especially the rum. They didn't care so much about the tea, I don't think. As long as they got their rum to keep them going every day, it was, uh, it was an awful hard life for those boys. I mean, well, my goodness, I'm trying to go out there on little boats and flimsy boats and, and um, sort of antiquated uh, weapons. Not that I agree with whaling because I don't, but still, it's a good song. And although this is in fact an old whaling song from New Zealand, uh, you've written in... Uh, couple of extra verses at the end, right? Well, I, not only did, yes, I did. I changed a wee bit of it as the verses, but in the last verse, I've rewritten it where the whale actually wins and gets hey. away. Yes, that's what I thought too. I'm just, uh, I'm a soft hearted when it comes to any animal or any bird or anything like that. I'm pretty soft touch. So, um, and if it wasn't for my wife, Anne, I'd probably have about 17 dogs and cats in this house. But she says, it's either them or me. And a whale. And I said, well, <laughs> where are you going to go? Soon <laughs> <laughs> may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Someday when the trumpet is done, we'll take our leave and go. Well, as far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The lines got cut, the whales got gone. The weatherman will arrive at dawn to encourage the crew and all. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Someday when the trumpet is done, we'll 